Um, so today we're going to talk about how to create um, your application registration on Azure AD and then use those credential uh, in Postman to call Graph API. All right, so first you need to head on to portal.azure.com. And once you have that blade open, uh, you need to go to Azure Active Directory. Uh, once you're here, uh, just click on App Registrations, uh, Create New. Here you would give the name of your application. So I would give demo, uh, demo 456. So this is the name of my sample app. So you have ample of options to choose from. So first option is uh, whether you're going to use the API within your organization. So in that case, you would select single tenant. Um, if your app needs to access uh, user information from different tenant, you would choose multi tenant as the name suggests. And if you want to include uh, personal accounts as well, then you'll need to choose personal Microsoft. Um, this one organization directory, which would allow personal account as well. And the last option is only for the personal accounts. All right, uh, so this part is optional. I'll leave it blank. Uh, I'll click on register for now. So this will create our sample app in Azure Active Directory. So right now we need to we need few information from here, but first of all, I'll go ahead and create a client secret. Click on new client secret. Uh, give a string here, which will be. The ID of the secret that you're going to create. Um, I'm going to select 12 months as the expiry date. You, the recommended uh, months are 12 months, but you can go all the way to 24 and you can also create a custom. All right, I'll click on add. So right now I'll need to copy this value which has been uh, shown here just to make sure. Um, the value stays there with me. Once you refresh this page, this value would be gone and never displayed again. So make sure you copy this value which is there here. All right. Um, so once you're done with this, uh, go to the API permission and click on add permission. So right now I'm going to call users um, emails. Uh, Um, so we're gonna read users email from Microsoft Graph. So I'm opening the documentation. Um, if I go to list messages, it says I need mail.read basic, mail.read and mail.read, right? So I need these three permissions uh, to read the email. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna come to API permissions, uh, click on add permissions, select Microsoft Graph, select application permission. And, uh, paste the permission which I need. So first one is mail.read basic all. Second one is mail dot read. All right, and the last one is mail dot read right. Um, there you go. So I'm going to add all the permissions which are there to read the mail. So now if you notice, uh, there's a warning there which says uh, the permissions are not granted. So all you need to do is click on grant admin consent. This will grant the permissions. The admin consent which is needed. All right, so this part is done. Now what you need Go to a Postman app. Uh, you can download the Postman app from the link in the description. So once you have it, just uh, open it, click on new, uh, create new HTTP request. Here, head on to the authorization tab. Uh, from the drop down, select OAuth 2.0. So we're going to use client credential flow. So you'll notice we'll need few attributes to be filled here. So first one is access token URL. So if I head on to the overview section uh, from Azure portal, you see endpoint section here. Just click on that. And from the endpoint blade, just copy the second value which says token endpoint and paste it inside the access token URL. All right. So once you have that, uh, go close this one, go to the overview section, copy the client ID. All right. Um, copy the client ID and paste it over here. All right. Now, the next thing what you need is client secret. So if I go back and select certificates and secrets, you see the value has been encrypted. So that was the reason why I asked you to. Copy the value beforehand in the notepad so that we have that value handy. All right, I have pasted the client secret as well. Now the scope says graph.microsoft.com dot default. So the default scope um, asks the permission upfront. Um, all the permission would be asked upfront. So that's the reason uh, I'm using graph.microsoft.com. So right now we are ready to go and ask for the access token. All right, so we got the access token uh, from Azure AD. All right, I'm going to click on use token. So right now I have my token here. Uh, I need to call Microsoft Graph directly now. I'll go to list permissions and this is the API. So, oh, this one, since we are using client credential flow, this would be the API we would be using. Um, 
Yeah, I'll need graph.microsoft.com. All right, need to remove the default and use this. All right, I'm going to put some email address here. This is uh, my dummy email address. All right, so I'm just going to click on send since we already have the access token. Oh, I forgot version of the graph endpoint that we are using should be good. All right, uh, still says 404. Oh, I forgot dot com as well. Apologies for that. Ah, all right. So we got 200 OK from Microsoft Graph. I hope you guys understood uh, how to create the app registration and how to use those credentials to get the access token from Azure AD and then use this access token to call Microsoft Graph. Um, now, in case uh, you need to do the same thing through delegated code flow, authorization code flow or delegated type, you just need to change this to authorization code and then you need to specify the callback URL. All right, so the callback URL, you will get it from the Azure portal itself. So if you go back to Azure portal, click on authentication. Here you need to specify, you will click on add platform, uh, click on web, and then you'll specify the redirect URL. So this has to be the callback URL. You can specify the URL of Postman. So in case you do not know, um, I'll specify the Postman callback URL. So it does postman.com slash callback. All right, I'll uh, put that into the video description for your reference. So once that is done, you can uh, use that for calling the delegated type as well. All right, hope you guys understood it. Uh, if you have any question, uh, drop it in the chat and I would be happy to answer it. All right, guys, thank you.